Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your life, I'm Captain, and today we're going to be looking at a tweet called App Swiper. This is by David M. He has developed several other tweets we have looked at, and we're going to be also looking at Lockdown Pro uh, here just in a minute or so. And you can get App Swiper for 99 cents. And let's go ahead and look at what it does. It allows you to kill the applications directly from the springboard. So you can see I have this little uh, outline around some of the applications. And those are the applications that are running in the background. So if I were to swipe up on settings, and sometimes you have to hit it just, just right, you see you get a pop-up here that tells you how much RAM is being used and the option to kill it. So if I tap kill, you see the little purple outline goes away. Now you can actually change that to be any color you want, and you can even add your own picture underneath those icons if you wanted to do that. It tells you which folder to put it in using iFile uh, shouldn't be too hard. So let's go to App Swiper, and you see here that I've got it set on purple glow. If I set it on red glow, you see it changes to red. We hit save. Now you can change the opacity of that and you can disable uh, this for dock apps. You can disable it for any application you don't want it to be on. So, you know, that, that could be any number of applications. So, if we didn't want it to be on Cydia, then now when we go back out, the little outline won't be around Cydia. You can turn your confirmation alert off, and here's where you swipe to clear the badges and swipe to kill apps. It's a very, very handy tweak to have. And you see now the Cydia app doesn't have the little ring around it. So when I open it, I'm gonna let it load up, you'll see that it doesn't put that in there because we chose to disable it for Cydia. So there you go, guys. You see this is called uh, App Swiper. You swipe up, you get the little pop-up you can turn that off too and I showed you how you can do that so now let's go ahead and take a look at Lockdown Pro this is available for $2.99 in Big Boss Repo and it is by David M also and Lockdown Pro has a whole lot of features and a whole lot of different things you can do but the main thing it does is allows you to password protect any application or folder on your device and let me show you how that works. I have a password already set for my Photos app, so anyone that gets my phone can't open my Photos app without that password. Uh, needless to say, it just sets something very simple right now. But, uh, you know, take for instance, if you loan your phone to a friend and they want to get into your message app and maybe read something and get the uh, juice on everybody, it's that you've been talking about or whatever, uh, you can block them. They cannot read your messages without that password, and it makes it very, very awesome. Like if you leave your phone on the table, uh, anything like that, they can't get into your private stuff. So let's go ahead and look at some of the features that Lockdown Pro offers and some of its settings in here. So go to Lockdown Pro. And you see I've got this password set before you can even get in. Here's where you lock your apps. It'll load up everything on your device. And you just go down through here and you tap whichever one you want to password protect. So if I wanted to password protect or lock Dropbox, I could just simply do that that easy. And it puts the little lock on there. If I wanted to unlock it, I can unlock it that fast. So... Another thing you can do, you can hide applications. If you don't even want an application visible on your springboard, like I have a calendar right now I have hit hid on my app, uh, springboard. You can see here I always keep it on this front page. It's gone. So if we go in here now to Lockdown Pro and we unhide this, it should show it. However, it does require a respring. So once that comes back up, the calendar app should be back on the springboard. It probably won't be in the same exact place, 
but you will be able to find it on the springboard. No, it's right there, right where it was supposed to be before. So that's Lockdown Pro, guys. It's $2.99. It's an awesome application. I strongly recommend it. Uh, don't forget, as always, please, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. We do all these City of Tweak reviews. We do app reviews. We do product reviews. You'll be up to date on everything. Don't forget, like I said, hit that subscribe and keep coming back.